Hello everyone. In this video, we will be taking a look at chopper control techniques. So let's get started. So fundamentally, there are two different classification that is time ratio control. Under time ratio control, we have constant frequency operation and variable frequency operation and we have something called as current limit control. So at the first place, why do we need control? Control is required because we need to have a control over the output voltage, isn't it? So we need to have specific output voltages based on our requirement in circuits that we are considering. So in that case, we need to control the switch. So how do we control the switch? We'll be controlling it through by varying the frequency or keeping it constant or by varying based on the current we'll be achieving and we'll be using a sensing method in order to detect the current that is available and based on that we'll be controlling the switch. So let's go in deep of what these methods are. Before that, we have to understand one important method or one important concept that is the duty cycle. Duty cycle is nothing but it's a representation of the duration with which we are turning on or turning off the switch, meaning to say it is the ratio of T on by T. So T is nothing but the sum of T on plus T off. So what is T on here? T on is the duration in which the switch is on and T off is the duration in which switch is off. If we have a duty of say 50%, meaning to say 50% of the time it is on, 50% of the time it is off. Let us say if the duty is 70%, 70% of the time it is on, 30% of the time it is off. So it's basically a representation of T on by the total time period. So one important observation in general, this we know that T is also equal to 1 by F, isn't it? So that is where we will consider constant frequency or variable frequency operation. So now let's only consider constant frequency operation and see what happens. Let us consider an output voltage waveform that is already existing. So let us say this is the output voltage that we are going to get from a chopper circuit. So we're considering some amount of cycle and this is the time at which the chopper is on. This is the time at which it is off and this is the total time period T. Let us extrapolate this and now if, if we have to achieve constant frequency operation, meaning to say that I have to not change the value of T. So T should be constant because F is inversely proportional to T. Constant frequency in the sense it also means constant time period, isn't it? So as a result, the total time period will be keeping it constant. I'll only be varying the T on. So I'll be changing the T on from this duration to this duration, but I will maintain that T on to be equal to the same as it was previously. So the T on here is same if you care, the T on is changing, but the T is same over here if you carefully observe this. So what we are able to achieve out of this, if you carefully find out the average output voltage for this particular waveform and this particular waveform, you will see the average output voltage in this waveform is much more than this because you have a greater duration for which the circuit is turned on, isn't it? So that's why we are able to control the output voltage by controlling the frequency. In this case, we are keeping it constant, meaning to say we are only changing T on. As a result, we are able to get a change in the output voltage and the cycle repeats. I hope this point is clear. Now let's take a look at variable frequency operation. In this, it's again pretty simple and straightforward. We'll be considering a waveform which has already some amount of output voltage that is available from a specific circuit. Now in order to consider variable frequency operation, meaning to say I will be changing T and I'll keep T on constant. I'll only be changing T. So how to achieve that? So again, extrapolating T on is constant. I'm going to consider the exact nature of waveform as it was previously. And for T off, I will just cut down the duration overall time period by varying the frequency such that the T off will end at this point, meaning to say that T, the total time period T is much lesser than what it was previously, isn't it? So this way, I'll be able to again control the output voltage, isn't it? So there are two possible ways in time ratio control, basically through time, how we are controlling through constant frequency and variable frequency. In constant frequency, we are controlling the T on, varying the T on, and in variable frequency, we are keeping T on constant and varying the frequency alone. I hope these two points are clear. Now let's take a look into the current limit control. Again, let's consider a current output waveform. Let us say we have a current waveform like this. 
one important observation is usually in DC DC converter we will be having some current waveform in this particular fashion this is nothing but an indication of ripple so what is ripple ripple is the deviation of output current that we are getting let us say we need a current of 10 but it will be moving between 10.2 to 9.8 so it's moving between upper and lower peaks so usually this will happen based on the value of the filters that we are selecting that is between the capacitor and inductor we will be able to control the ripple that is available at the output point but that's not our agenda here i just wanted to explain the concept of why we are getting output current in this particular fashion but what is the thing that we are doing over here so if this is the output current waveform what we will be doing is the output voltage will be controlled such that if the current is going to say the lower limit over here so this is nothing but i out plus i out that is i out max you can call or i out plus i out i out max and this is i out min we consider this as i out min so when the current is at i out min i will turn on the switch so how i will know i will be using a feedback element basically as current sensor or something like that and sense the current and if it is reaching this particular value say 9.8 immediately i will turn on the switch and ensure that the current goes to the maximum peak value so the current starts increasing and reaches a value say equal to 10.2 consequently i will turn off the switch so this is the duration in which chopper is on so here at this instant i will turn on and at this instant i will turn off the chopper so chopper is on and during this chopper is off so this way we'll be able to control the output voltage again by basically sensing the current at the output so i hope this video gave you a clear understanding of the control strategies that are involved in a chopper in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching stay tuned thank you